My name is Baba Tunde Joshua. I'm just one. The name of my school is Futoke Compressive College. The title of my story is The Stupid Friend. Once upon a time, there was a friend named Ade and Shagun. Ade and Shagun live in a village named Ladi Doyo. One day, the two of them did not have nothing to eat. They went to the herbalist. The herbalist told them that what they need, what they need is a is a is the head of a baby. The two of them think about it. They went to the school and it was break time. They saw a baby that went to the toilet. They take a baby and they cut his head. The remaining part, they sell it for ritualist. And they were going to the herbalist. The principal saw them and the principal called the police. The, po the police arrested them. And the police said, all the villagers, they should contribute 10,000 to release the stupid friend. After that, the two of them, they decided to run away to Abiokuta. And they steal all their money and goods and end. And they ran to Abiokuta. The two of them decided to have a shop. Why are they selling meat and Shagun is doing shoemaking? They decided to have an apprentice and they have and two of them, they decided to got married, and they got married, and they built a house. Three months later, Ade's wife got an apprentice, pregnant, and Ade too came to the hospital. When Ade got the information, it was twins. Ade was very happy while Shergun was sad. Shergun called the kidnapper to kill Ade's wife. Ade's wife is listening to what Shagun is saying. And Ade's wife ran away. He told his wife that Shagun wants to kill me. And Ade sent Shagun away from his house. Shagun went a house. One year later, Shagun did not see the money to pay the Baba landlord. The Baba landlord sent Shagun away. Shagun packed all his own load to one uncompleted building. One day, Shagun went to the market, saw the woman selling good and provision. Shagun took his money. Beside the shop, there is one bush there, and Shagun went to the bush. The woman is thinking about the money that I put the money here. Who took it? And the woman locked his shop, and the woman is looking for his money. And the woman went to the bush. The woman saw Shagun counting the money. And the woman called the police. The police arrested Shagun. On the judgment day, they said they will kill Shagun. And they killed Shagun. The following day, Ade is working on the bank. And Ade did not go to shop because of the accident. The following day, Ade is going to his office by 6.30 a.m. Ade was robbed by the kidnapping. And when Ade got to the office. The manager said, Mr. Ade, you are late. Ade said I was robbed by the kidnapping. The manager did not believe. The manager said, Mr. Ade, be careful. The manager called the leader of the company. The leader of the company said, Mr. Ade, be careful. When Ade gets home, Ade did not eat. Ade went to his bed and Ade sleep. The following day, Ade did not go to office. Ade went to the, to the security place to take a security that will secure him to the office. When Ade got to the office, Ade greeted the manager. The manager did not answer, and Ade went to his office, and they did not do any work. Ade went to When Ade went to the following day, the manager called Mr. Ade that the company money that is with you will need it. And Ade said, hold on, I will give you your money. Ade went to his shop. And his appointees gave him 500,000. Ade removed 50,000 from the 500,000. He gave his appointees. His appointees was very happy. The remaining 450,000, Ade went to his office. Ade gave the manager. The manager sacked Ade. Ade was very angry. And his wife said, me, My husband, don't worry, God will do it. And the following day, Ade went to his shop. Ade is monitoring the market. The following day, Ade name is student, Taiwo and Kendi. The two of them, they are going to school.
is born high school. I built Taiwo is four years old and Ken Day is three years old. Taiwo is in primary two and Ken Day two is in primary two. One day when they return from school, I did told them that I did love Ken Day and Taiwo and uh, mommy loved Taiwo. One day when they return from school, I did told Ken Day that if you pass your exam, I will promise you something. And and they started the exam. And can they can they pass exam? Why Taiwo failed? His father bought him a bicycle. Taiwo was very sad, and his mommy told him that Taiwo, if you pass your exam, I will bought you a a toy game. And the two of them they started the second time exam. Taiwo passed. How can they fail? His mommy buying him a toy. Okay, one day, the two of them, they are going to school. Ken, they saw a friend. It was very beautiful. 